Hello everyone, this is Dreamon and welcome to this new MA3 video which is meant to be both funny and educational. First of all you can see me selecting my weapons here which have been deliberately not given any damage mods. And this is done to show the basic damage of each weapon I'm using. A little note in between, funny moments in the video will happen completely randomly. Second of all, I must say that everything that is recorded in this video is done on the difficulty silver, which is in my opinion the perfect difficulty to show the damage output. Because for example, weapons like the M77 Paladin have a basic damage output on silver that will kill anything without shields in one shot and anything with shields in two shots. third and last part, as you can see here, I will sometimes randomly fast forward into the video because at that point there will be sometimes nothing important to show. Since the first recorded footage started playing, you can see that I've only been using the Black Widow. This weapon has a massive damage output and as you can see here this Dragoon will almost die instantly, but on the condition if it's been damaged before. But basically anything without any protection like shields or armor will die instantly. Small armored targets like Dragoons will receive almost 80% damage to their head, but with fully upgraded damage mods I think the Black Widow can take them down in one shot even on gold. Now this Nemesis for example will lose its entire shield and 50% damage on the health. Now phantoms are a little bit of a different problem for the Black Widow, due to their fast movement speed and barriers. Now even if you are lucky enough to make a headshot on them, then their barriers will still give them full protection against that damage from the headshot. So speed and accuracy is a must have against the phantom, or she could fuck up your entire team. What? <laughs> You might have noticed that the last 30 seconds I've already switched to the Cerberus Harrier, which is a perfect weapon for people who have a little bit of a problem with that one shot one kill headshot. Even Dragoons will go down fairly quick as you can see here. Now this weapon is best used in combination with skills like Marksman or Demolition Mode like on the Destroyer. Now these skills will immediately enhance the rate of fire and stability of the weapon or even the damage. Quite the accuracy, isn't it? Now I must note that you do have to keep an eye out on your ammo counter. But I think for the moment that I'm gonna let the footage speak for itself.
Now I'm switching over to the map Vancouver where I'm playing with one of my favorite guns, the M77 Paladin. Which in my opinion can do a lot more damage per second than the Black Widow. Now the great thing about the Paladin is that it's basically a portable Black Widow because its basic damage is very close to that of the Black Widow. The only major difference between those two is that they will do different damage on shield and armor targets but in the end they will both take two shots to take him down. Now when you mount the pistol scope on the Paladin and you use it together with skills like uh, for example Devastator mode on the N7 Destroyer then you can make this gun actually better than the Black Widow. Headshot! Headshot! Boom! Headshot! Mr. Dice, oh, we are dead. Here I'm playing on Firebase Jade with my Harrier again and as you can see it can still take down any kind of target fairly quickly even without marksman enhancing skills. Let's just switch to my awesome Paladin again. That's the only problem you'll notice here with the Paladin, that it cannot penetrate the Guardian Shields unlike the Black Widow. Killing spree! Now everyone knows that Banshees can be a pain in the ass, so I suggest using the Hurrier here instead because basically she moves around way too fast to use the Black Widow or the Paladin.
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Dominating! 